So what we have here is our TS5 15 PV solar pump. Uh, these are a solar DC circulation pump. Um, commonly what we do is we use them in um, solar thermal applications, wood boiler applications, in floor heating applications, and uh, basically closed loop systems, if the power ever fails, um, you can also use these guys as a backup. So you, you, when your main AC pump fails, these guys work. Um, so basically what you get is, this is the box that we commonly ship in. Depending on your shipping location, uh, we may have to ship in larger boxes just because of uh, shipping policies. What we have here is your manual. Business card if you ever need more parts, pieces, or help. This is actually your solar pump itself. I'm just gonna make some room here. Pump is quite small in size. You guys should look at it, just a little bit bigger than a business card. Um, I'm gonna go into a little bit more details with the pump with what I actually took apart. Basically, this is the solar pump itself. What you have is you have four uh, just Phillip head uh, bolts that you have inside there. On the back side, you actually have the nuts. Uh, they're actually encased in the plastic so they don't go anywhere. Um, what you have is, I'm just going to take this apart. This piece over here is a high temperature Rylon plastic. It's actually a food grade plastic. What you have is MPT brass threads. Uh, in the inside you have your, um, it's actually a ceramic shaft. On the other side of the pump, you have your uh, Viton O-ring. Uh, this one's actually specially made for glycol systems, holds the glycol either way. This is your uh, actual impeller itself. This is actually a ceramic impeller with magnetic drive. It's completely brushless. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, magnetic drive. Okay, so some of the features of this pump, uh, basically flow rates. What you have is you have 11 and a half liters per minute. Um, if you're a gallons person, it's actually around three gallons per minute. And at zero PSI, it has a three meter head height. So uh, essentially think of it as a 12 foot uh, two by four. Um, so some little features that it does have on it, it has a run dry protection, over voltage protection. Um, you can run it directly from your solar panel or directly from batteries. Uh, I commonly stick an inline fuse on the pump itself um, just because just additional safety and then also what you have is if you ever wanted to disable the pump, let's say you're servicing uh, your system, you can just pull the fuse and uh, call it a day. Um, you can see it is directional, pump only goes one way, make sure you wire it properly. Uh, PV panel sizing, it's a 15 watt pump. Uh, the interesting part of it is it actually starts off from little as 2 watts. So the more power you have, the more it actually flows. Um, so it works really good in conjunction with the solar thermal uh, collectors. So more sunlight, more heat, more flow. So it uh, works quite nicely that way. Uh, panel size, um, it's a 15 watt pump so realistically you want to have a 15 watt panel. I upsize it, I am going for 20 watt panel just because of uh, reflection on the flat surface from morning and afternoon. Uh, and then also uh, PV panels are more susceptible to shading uh, than solar thermal collectors. So that's one thing to take into consideration. So that is the TS5 15 PV solar pump.